Welcome back. Um, we're playing Portal right now. It's just me. Um, we got distracted again, uh, like best friends tend to. Um, I'm sorry. That's the like. Nick was mad at me, so I'm assuming you guys are mad at me too. He wasn't actually mad at me. Just like I don't assume you guys were actually mad at me, but it was kind of douchey of me. We did get distracted, and I died, so it's fine. I think he's my inspiration. But, um, yeah, we have, we have new drinks. It's probably been a good, like, 20 minutes, and we need to stop doing that. But it's okay. Um, we're still talking about stuff. You know, being friends, that good stuff. Look at this. Yay! Puzzles! Um, but, yeah, it's... There will not be cake, you stupid bitch. She lies to us, guys. I like chocolate cake, and trust me, if there was cake, I'd know. I had to work out because of how much cake I eat. Or how much cake I want to eat, even. Alright, we're going this way. Should have fucking shot the other one. God damn it, I'm really kind of fucking up. Ah! That's the only problem I have with this game, is the... Um... The terrible, 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 um, like when you accidentally shoot portals the wrong way, sort of thing. And then, uh, searching, searching. Fuck you, portal guns. Oh, hold on. Look at this. I'm kicking ass and taking names, Nicholas. Yeah, welcome back. That's what you've been doing this whole time. Yeah, well, I play this game too damn much, okay? We both know this. So, what am I drinking? Uh, <laughs> a warp pipe is what I've been told his name is. But, uh, a warp pipe without, like, the actual right stuff in it, so... Well, that's a totally different drink, then. Yeah, well, the only thing different is the, um... Instead of, uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade, we put 7-Up in it. Because there's lemon in it, right? Oh, it's saved. I don't know what to do, though. Oh, hold on. So this uh, this is dumb. Hold on. Fuck. I am too drunk to remember how to do this. Uh, <laughs> that makes me sad. You take a minute. Um, okay. Before, we were drinking Crown Royal Apple mm. and Mountain Dew. Very good. Um, I think an invention of a friend of mine. Ooh, do you know his name? Uh, Carlson. Oh, Carl! I yeah, love that guy. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to put him on blast. No. But... Well, uh, well, hold on. Let's call him. Let's call him Mr. C. Mr. No, C. No. No. Of Reservoir Dogs, what color of which character do you think you like the best? He's definitely Mr. Pink. Yeah, he's, he is. He totally like is dick. Mr. Pink. So Mr. Pink made the invention. Yeah. God, um, that's so great. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, glorious. Yeah, he he tuned me into it. Maybe it wasn't his invention. But we're going to credit it to him, Mr. Pink. Okay, so hold on. I think this is what we do. Okay. Okay, hold on. We're going to go here. But yeah, go on. Sorry, sorry talk. Mr. Pink. Um, yeah, no, he turned me on to Crown Royal and Mountain Dew, which was very good. Tyson, because uh, what necessity is the mother of invention. To get added drunk? A, added a splash of cranberry. Oh, that was really good, I too. I thought it was really good. I thought it was a good addition. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but it's, we ran out of Crown Royal. Yeah, we did. <laughs> uh, and so now we're drinking these uh, warp pipes. With, like, fucked up warp pipes, too, so. Yeah, I got it. I, okay, so what do we, ah, oh, fuck. But yeah, so it's warp pipes instead of mount, uh, half of a bottle of, uh, what is it called? Mike's Hard Lemonade. Um, it's, what is it, three-fourths of a shot of Blue Kerkow. Half a shot of the melon, which we kind of eyed, which was Midori. terrible. No, it's it's not Midori melon originally, it's but just melon. it's melon liqueur. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So when we went to Safeway, we just found the cheapest melon liqueur, and like that one's good enough. And uh, uh, yeah. Shit. Hold on. What else were we doing? Um. And then I did uh Seven Up instead because Seven Up was. What did I just do? You failed. Oh, I did. Hold on. Hold on, I got it. Fuck it. Oh, god oh, damn it. Okay. I, I failed hard. <laughs> uh, it saves. The great thing is after every single one of those things you kill, it saves. And because of me being so good at this game. Quotes, by the way. Because um, I am not like a speedrunner by any means. But um, 
think you could hear the air quotes there. Yeah, I feel like you could. Like, I mean, I'm sarcastic enough to understand how it works. But uh, being uh, being good at this game and then being fast at this game is different. God, what was I trying to say? I got distracted by trying to tell people I'm not an asshole. <laughs> you gotta stop, because they're never gonna believe you. Yeah, well, every, like, every video it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> like there's like Tyson, we know. We know the truth. It's it's okay to it's okay to stop. But um I still fail from time to time. I also haven't played this game in fucking years. So being a speedrunner by any means is just a bad attempt at Ooh. Yeah, it's kinda cool. Good. Yeah, well that's that's the game. The game is meant to do that. That's how you're supposed to beat that puzzle. Not die the first time you try it. Oh. Yeah. I thought that was built in, I don't know. Yeah, totally. You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? You were, you were like the best co-host. It makes me feel great. When you're not trying to kill me with uh, Battle Block Theater. Yeah, just leave me out of the game and yeah. I'll, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I we, I love killing people Like your friends? Yes, I, I don't know. Your I, brother? It started with your brother. Like, And we made that joke. That was a great joke today. And I and I can't believe you both like were like, yeah, that's true. Because I made the joke about uh, Chris being a player one and you being player two, even though you're the older brother. And that's a stereotype. His older brothers are always player one. And just, you both were like, yeah. Like, you were sad. And he was like, yeah. Like, he was just excited about it. And I was like, oh, now I feel bad. Because I didn't know that your life was so hard being the... <laughs> Like, it was just the greatest thing, because I didn't expect it, like, making the joke. And I was just like, oh, damn. So. Well, personally, uh, I quickly learned to prefer, like, the the anti-hero or the oh. non-main um, character. So, like, when I always think of this, I always think of uh, Final Fight. But it's like Final Fight 3, where you get to select... Uh, from like, three or four different characters. Okay. And the main character is this dude. God, I think I'm mixing up a bunch of different games here. But there's happens always, all the time. There's always like the average built guy. Yeah. And then there's the big guy. Mm -hmm. And then there's the girl. Mm -hmm. Those that's the three archetypes. It's like it's like uh, not just Final Fight, but uh, Streets of Rage, I think. Whereas like Hagar is like the mayor and he's a bug as shit, and there's the yeah. average guy and the girl. Yeah. I always played Hagar. Yeah. Like. I mean, I like Hagar. I want to cosplay as Hagar. I want to get so, like, That's... I don't need to get ripped. I just need to be, like, kind of fat and kind of good looking in that. And, and then, then get those green pants. Yeah, and I'll be like, I'll just look like a slightly fat Hagar. Yeah, no, I mean. And I'm okay with that. But I I learned early on to like, to want to be Hagar. And so then being player two became a good thing. I Like, I wanted to be Luigi. I wanted to be Hagar. I wanted to be... And so, so now I play a little World of Warcraft, and I want to be the tank or the healer. I don't like being... You don't like being the DPS. Yeah. Totally understandable. Also, DPS sucks anyway. It, support. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I love being in League of Legends. I'm support. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a healer as often as I can, we, which is terrible when we play TF2 together. <laughs> we should do that! Oh, man, that because. Because be we're both we're both really bad at the whole like uh, like well really everything well but like oh, oh fuck sorry <laughs> but um I remember one time we played and I was healer and you were pyro and then it was just better the other way like I was a better pyro like not even slightly better I think you were a better healer you were a better medic than I was a pyro and that was the, really the main thing and I was like and it made me kind of like upset because I was like but. But I'm a good healer, and I w you're just way better at it. Like, you're just better at following my sporadic movements. Or, or you're like a crazy person, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't, whatever it was, it worked for us. Yeah, because cause I remember we just, we wrecked that game. And it's funny, because that reminds me of another time. Um, I had never played with Corey before. You know Corey, uh... R Rinderneck, uh, our friend that we met through Keith. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Fantastic. Great. Right. Yeah. I. We need to like meet up with him sometime or something. But, um, but yeah, like I played with him once, and he'd never seen me play TF2, and he was gonna like he's like re I guess ready to make fun of me because all the people in his like, uh, whatever it's called. Fuck. What is it called? The server. There you go. Um, the server were like really good, like professional. And so one guy was a scout, 
and because when I play heavy, I turn my sensitivity like stupid, and so it's like I can turn around. The guy, the scout, was trying to like out like maneuver me, like kite me, uh, and I and I stayed. I trained on him, like just fucking stayed on him with every bullet, and I killed him. And everyone, I heard everyone screaming on my team, "Don't, don't do that! Don't do that! He's gonna beat you!" And then I wrecked him. And then and then Corey was like, "You're a great heavy. What the hell?" And I was like, "I don't, I don't do much else." I like heavy, I'm good at a medic, but only people that are like good at other stuff, I'm good with medic. And then he was just like, Jesus Christ, Tyson, you're a great heavy. And I was like, thank you, that makes me feel good. It's because I guess I beat like decently professional, not like any means professional, but like people kind of took it seriously and I was just like trying to have fun. And he was just like, oh God, wow. And it made me feel really good. Well, I just, think if you can play it at that high sensitivity, that's really good. And and the reason why is because of uh, I played so much Halo Four and COD at a, such a high sensitivity to get myself that way because I was just like, I think this is how you should play these games, and I was wrong. Like a lot of people don't play at that high sensitivity, but I just I try, even though I fuck up. We're really ignoring her. I'm technically off the charts with her. She doesn't know where I am. And I'm just walking around. I'm solving these puzzles so fast and I feel terrible. You, this is not like a walkthrough. Don't, don't watch this. <laughs> this if, you need, if you need I a think. portal, yeah, if you need a portal to a portal one walkthrough, don't come here. You're right. You're right. That's totally right. Cause Jesus. Cause this is not this is not the right place to be. <laughs> That really, you're totally right about that. Because Jesus, I this would be terrible. Like, because you're supposed to talk about what you're doing. We're talking about Valve games and shit. Yeah, I think. Wait, wait, that's perfect, right? Tip, talk I about TF2 that, while playing yeah, Portal. Yeah, right. I don't. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's we funny. we almost talked about Portal for a second. Did we? About their development size and. Ah uh, well. Um, yeah. That was a good two minutes. <laughs> Solid. Oh yeah. What else? What else do we... Oh, hey, another fun fact about, like, development and stuff. I, I, I've watched this uh, playthrough with commentary, and the reason this whole thing is here is to show you that you can solve puzzles without, like, differently now, so that if you ever see a puzzle that you're not used to, you can solve it differently. Differently from what? Differently than before. So, before, when I first was in here, I only could shoot blue portals. I don't, like, it's only something you would never notice until you see these two things, because that's what makes the yellow portals until you get both mm. portal guns. Well, both portal guns, which is the portal gun that shoots both. Okay, but so like, you've been in this room before. Yeah, yeah. Earlier, when you only had one portal gun. And you have to shoot a blue portal here, and then there's an, oh, hold on, sorry. And then there's an orange portal up here. And then you shoot your blue portal and walk through, grab the, um, what is it called? The cube. the cube, but then you shoot a blue portal over here and then walk through it, set the cube on here, and then walk through the door. But here, you just you just shoot two portals and then you're like, you're fucking through the puzzle. Okay. And so it's also like, to feel like you're breaking the, the game more, or breaking the puzzles, because of this, you don't have the right, like, you're now behind the scenes because... You're not using the elevator to solve puzzles. Okay. It was cool. I, I watched the. I played this game so much that the developer commentary made the game better for me. Like it's just like not a lot of people do that with like movies and stuff, but. I love director commentary. Yeah, it's. I think it's always great, but I understand when people don't. <laughs> I don't. You don't understand why people don't like it? I, I just, I understand that I'm weird, and that's the world, like, the world we live in is so okay with, like, you're weird, I'm normal sort of thing. Like, that's just the mentality is, it's like, I'm normal, you're weird. Like, because I understand how I feel, you're weird. I just feel like that's not how we should be. There, there are some bad ones. I watched a, uh... Like, how do you get up there? A Guillermo del Toro... Oh. Director commentary. You watch Christopher Nolan. He is so drab, and it's not his fault. He's just such an artist, and he just he just can't do it. Like in my opinion, but I, I mean, he just okay. So if I was a film student, I would love it. Like I, I would understand what oh, everybody yeah, was talking right? about. Yeah. And I, but but I'm not. And then it's so dry. It's 
And same with Christopher Nolan. Terrible. It's dry. Because he talks about, um, if you watch the Memento one, if you want to fall asleep, which I have done, to a director commentary, watch the Memento commentary with Christopher Nolan. And even though he's talking about a movie you love, probably, because, I mean, if you don't love it, you're a total tool. That's actually probably one of my only opinions that like I want to hold to, because Memento is such a great movie. But, um... It's so dry. It's easy to, like, the first shot he does where it's, like, reversed, he talks about that, and that's great. Like, he's like, like it. And then he starts talking about the cin- cinematography, about how he feels it works with the story, and you're just like, uh, 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 just, like, immediately. Like, that first scene is so interesting, because well, the way he describes it is, just like, we didn't use digital film for this, we tried to put reverse film, like, we tried to film it with actual, like, physical film in reverse, because I guess that's a thing you can do, so it makes it look more natural. So you, like, make the film reverse, and then you, like, you flip it around the right way, like, because it's, you know... Oh, okay. It's, like, a series of pictures, pretty much. And then if you flip the pictures around, it makes it, like, reverse. Um, and the way he just talks about it is, like, really interesting. And then instead of talking about how he felt about the movie or what was going on with the actors and stuff he just like starts talking about film more and the rest of the movie is just not that interesting about his filming and you're just like ugh when my, every experience I've had watching a director only commentary mm-hmm. um, has been awful really? when they're with somebody they're fine like uh, Apocalypto is a great director with commentary with Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson alone? no he, oh. he's talking to somebody he's like the director of photography or something. I don't oh, remember. Cool. I don't remember, but really great and not dry at all. Nice. Um, that was one of the things that got me into director commentaries, but when they're alone... <laughs> it's terrible. They get a little pedantic. And that is why, guys, I like my friends playing these games with me because then when I'm talking about, like, Limbo was okay. I've, I've come to find out. Like, everyone kind of liked that. But, like... Playing games that I've never played before alone is just really weird. Like, for me and you guys. And I and I realize that, but I keep trying. That's like, I just I keep trying. And I don't want to do the whole, uh, like, uh, what is it, PewDiePie guy? Because he's alone. Like, PewDiePie's alone the whole time. And he's rich as shit. And, and I feel bad for him because I can't. I don't think I can do it. And he has to have that same feeling. So, all right, guys. <laughs> really weird and kind of intense, I guess, but... <laughs> we'll be back. Um, I did talk about the, how we had to make new drinks because we talked so long, but I promise it'll literally be seconds in between the videos. So, yeah. Bye. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't tell anybody. I keep missing my cue. Yeah.